Hi there. In this video, I will show you how you can get both selected and unselected values from the Tableau filter. So just to show you a scenario very quickly. So what I have here is the sample uh, Superstore data, which comes by default with Tableau. Whenever you will open the Tableau, you will get it on the left hand side, this uh, sample Superstore data. So what I have over here is the subcategory which I have taken from here and put it over there and I've just clicked on the show filter and the filters are here. Then what I've done is just drag the sales from, from here to this text option or text uh, area to get the text. Now whenever I remove anything, let's say accessory, you will see that there is a change in this Similarly, if I remove bookcase, there is a change. So by default, whenever you do this selections or unselection based on your requirements, you always get the values that is related to the selection. But many times situation happens that you also want this, the non value for non-selection uh, values or the filter values. So how to get that? Well, bit tricky but uh, not very complex so what i'll do is i will show you both the things so this sum of sales is anyways your sum of selection or the values that is related to the selection so what i'll do is i will create one calculated field and in this i will say simply non-selection you can give the value whatever you want based on your business uh, scenario or situation so using the level of detail expression uh, and to be very straightforward fixed expression or fixed keyword we can achieve this so what i'm going to do is i will put sum within that i will start this curly brackets and say fixed colon sum again sum of sales so what it is doing is basically removing the impact of any of the filter that that we are kind of doing so for now what I'll do is uh, uh, what I was planning to do is I was just crossing this and selecting all and then again going back into the create calculated field and say non selection and again so just wanted to make sure that uh, all the values are selected and you are able to see the impact when there is a non selection so again curly bracket fixed colon sum of sales so this is basically a sum of sales for all the values even if you remove the selection it will give you all the sum of uh, all the values uh, sum for all the values because we have used the fixed um, keyword now if i want the non-selected value well then simply subtract the selected value which is nothing but sum of sales so what it is doing is from total sum of sales remove the selected sum of sales so by default as you know sum of sales is the value that is based on your selection so if i press apply for now it will come as zero so if i click apply okay and here is a non-selection if i put it on text it will come zero because all the values are selected but if I let's say remove accessories, you will see the impact over here. If I remove accessories, now you see that accessories from total value have been reduced. But what is the accessory value? You know, a different side of the story. Well, 167380 is your accessory value. Similarly, if I remove art, then you get the update. If I remove the labels, you get the update. And in this way, you can simply go ahead and uh, use it in your chart metrics or aggregation based on the calculated field that, that we have created. And this way, you will get the story on both the side, side where we want to make a selection as well as what is non-selection value. So I hope you have found it useful and I will meet you in the new video on the new topic.